Hi guys, it's Stacey from Clothes Live On and today we are doing a what sold for the first week of May. So May 1st through May 7th and my sales are pretty low for that week. Um, I want to make like a life slash business update for my next video because I have kind of shifted priorities. That's not a permanent thing, that's a temporary thing. Um, where I'm definitely putting less into reselling. I'm behind on a lot of reselling stuff because I'm still collecting donations and I'm trying to figure out how to get through all the stuff that I have. It's, I'm overwhelmed with inventory. I kind of showed it a little bit on Instagram and not all of it is stuff that I personally want to sell. I'm running out of thread up boxes. It's a lot. Um, but that's not why we're here. That's for a different video. So um, let's just jump into the sales. As always, I will post screenshots so you guys can see what the item looked like that sold. Um, and I did, so they started off talking about low sales. It was $544 in sales, which definitely low. Um, there was one sale that got a case opened against it, um, which I, it was a donated item. So I just said for Poshmark to refund them and let them keep it. And then I made an Instagram sale that isn't part of this, so there is a little bit of additional money, but not much. First sale is a Dickies jacket. This is a men's like denim jacket. It sold for a full price of $30. I earned $24 and that sold in one day. Next on Poshmark, I sold polar boots. So they were like snow boots. Um, these were like a more inexpensive brand. So they sold for $15. I earned $12 and those took two days to sell. On Poshmark I sold Lululemon shorts. These were new with tags and they were seaweed shorts. And if you aren't aware, seaweed is the, I think it's a marathon, it could be a half marathon though, that Lululemon hosts every year and they have special items that come out just for that race. So these, this pair of shorts sold for $49. I earned $39.20 and they took $278 days to sell. So they took a very long time to sell. I was a little surprised since they were more of a rare item like any series piece is a little more rare but that doesn't necessarily mean it's sought after so I think that was the issue there. Next on Poshmark I sold Sam Edelman wedge sandals. They sold for $20. I earned $16 and they took 123 days to sell. On eBay, I sold Adidas pants. They were new with tags. They sold for $30. I earned $26.04 and those took 14 days to sell. And then the last thing for May 1st, on eBay, I sold a pair of cabbie jeans. They were new with tags. They sold for $60. I earned $52.19 and then they took 81 days to sell. So then moving on to the second, first thing on Poshmark, I sold a Reformation dress, new with tags, and it was a plus size piece. It sold for $105. I earned $84 and it took 73 days to sell. And then I sold a three piece bundle. I only have a picture for two of the three pieces because they bundled them and bought the two pieces and then they had wanted to bundle a third item they like so I canceled it and I just created a new listing that encompassed them all. So first thing was St. John pants. Uh, the bundle price they sold for $20 so I earned $16 and I had those for 191 days. And then I sold loft jeans that were from a thread up box. Those sold for $15 at the bundle price. I earned $12 and I had those for 25 days. And then the last thing was actually a home goods. It was like a cheese cutting set. So like cheese knives and stuff that sold for $5. So I earned $4 since it was any bundle. So it didn't have that like Poshmark um, fee taken out where you only get like $2. Um, and that took two days to sell and that was donated. So I don't care about the low price point because I didn't pay for it. Um, so that was a decent bundle. Um, and that was it for the second. So now moving on to the third on Poshmark, I sold a Lily Pulitzer dress. I believe that was also new with tags. It had a pretty low selling point. It sold for $36. Um, I earned $28.80 and it took 298 days to sell. I'm really not sure why that took so long to sell, especially being a nice piece that I'm pretty sure did have tags on it. Um, it's just the reselling game sometimes. Sometimes you think you have a piece that's supposed to be good and it just ends up not being good. Uh, next was a two item bundle. I sold a Victoria's Secret like bustier. That was $8 at the bundle price. So I earned $6.40 since it wasn't a bundle. 
it only took the 20%, not that like fee for below 15. And I had that for 10 days. And then also in that bundle was a Flynn Sky top that sold for $20 at the bundle price. I earned $16 and it took 187 days to sell. And then on Mercari, I sold a pair of Massimo jeans that again was from the Thread Up denim box. So I they sold for $15. I earned $13.50 and those took 26 days to sell. And the last thing for that day was on Mercari, I sold an Alexander Wang tank top. It sold for $19. I earned $12.85 and it took 207 days to sell. Now, I didn't have any sales on these platforms for the 4th. I had my Instagram sale on the 4th and that was all that sold. So then we're gonna move on to the 5th. I, on Poshmark, sold a pair of Jack Rogers wedges. Those sold for $15. I earned $12 and they took 235 days to sell. On Poshmark, I sold a Massimo denim skirt. It sold for $8. I earned $5.05 and it took 30 days to sell. And I think that's pretty good considering it's not something I would have sourced. I just got it in the thread up box. Um, kind of same with the Massimo jeans. It's not stuff I normally source, but I had it and they sold. And then the last sale for the fifth is on eBay. I sold Co-op Barney's. It was a cashmere sweater. It sold for $30. I earned $26.73 and it took eight days to sell. Okay, on the sixth, I sold a two item bundle on Poshmark. It was a LuLaRoe skirt that sold for $9 at the bundle price. So I earned $7.20 and that took six days to sell. And then also in that bundle was Simply Vera, Vera Wang shoes, like loafer Oxford kind of shoes. They sold for $12 and then I earned $9.60 and those took seven days to sell. And the great thing about that bundle is both of those pieces were donated to me, so it was pure profit. I didn't pay anything for those. And then there was just one other sale that day. It was on eBay. I sold Free People Flats. They sold for $23. I earned $15.26 and they took 209 days to sell. So then on the 7th, the last day, I only made two sales, so they were both on Poshmark. First one was Mother Corduroy Pants. They sold for $25. I earned $20 and they took 44 days to sell. And then lastly, I sold a J. Crew linen t-shirt. It did have a flaw in it. So it sold for $8. I earned $5.05 and it took 274 days to sell. Again, not surprising because it was flawed and it's a really basic piece. Uh, but yeah, that's everything that sold the first week for me. Like I said, really low numbers as a full-time seller but I am not surprised to see those numbers because I know what I'm putting in and what I'm putting in isn't enough to see better sales so I'm happy with what I have uh, I will make an update video for you guys probably it'll be up on Friday if you're watching this when it this video comes out so keep an eye out for that and I'll kind of tell you why my sales are low and what's been going on. So I will see you then. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.